You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. And be sure to smash that like button. Maybe the most hot button conversation in these parts with respect to the transfer portal has been quarterback. And you, if you listen to the show, you've heard me say it. You know my feelings. LSU has to add a quarterback if they don't. It's negligence on Brian Kelly and his staff's part. And to be very clear, I, and I, ha I have to preface this conversation this way. This is not an anti-Garrett Nussmeyer sentiment, Okay. This is not anti-Nussmeyer. I know a lot of you see, hear it that way, you see it that way, because I was very much pro Jaden Daniels. By the way, I was right. Dude won the Heisman Trophy. But being pro Jaden didn't mean I was anti-Nuss. It made sense. He was a more experienced quarterback. He was a more versatile quarterback. His ability to run saved your offense a year ago, and then he was obviously just dynamic and awesome this year. I am very excited to watch Garrett Nussmeyer. He has tons of ability. We all know that. Tons of physical ability. He's the son of a coach. All of the things that, that all the boxes he checks, it's time to see it now. But that doesn't mean you should ignore the opportunity to bring in depth and experience at the most important position in team sports. It doesn't mean you're bringing in someone to start for Garrett Nussmeyer. You're bringing in someone to add depth at that position and compete and challenge him. And that's never a bad thing. It was the same conversation we were having two years ago with Miles Brennan. When you had veteran Miles Brennan who hadn't played at all, redshirt freshman Garrett Nussmeyer and true freshman Walker Howard. You were in the same situation. Look at how it worked two years ago. And again, I'm not saying you bring in someone to take the job from Garrett Nussmeyer. But you absolutely bring in someone to, to add depth and to compete. And what you're looking at right now, and LSU is telling you their plan. They're telling you their plan. Because you got two options in the transfer portal. You do what Matt Rule said, and you go spend seven figures on a starting quarterback in the portal. You want to go add Riley Leonard? You want to go add Will Howard? You want to go add Cam Ward? You want to go add one of one of the top players in the portal, it's going to cost you seven figures. Okay. If you're not interested in that, okay. Like, LSU's coaching staff had to make the determination. Do we want to go spend seven figures in the portal to bring in a starter, or are we good with Nussmeyer? And they're telling you their answer. They would prefer to roll with Garrett than go spend seven figures on someone in the portal. Cool. But the other option is you bring in another player with experience to give you depth at that position. And so over the weekend, LSU brought former Vanderbilt quarterback A.J. Swan in for a visit. So A.J. Swan was on campus, visited with Joe Sloan, according to reports. And he's taken a lot of visits. He entered the portal uh, uh, back in, in November and now has, is taking visits and we'll see ultimately where he lands. Uh, A.J. Swan, if you need the little quick uh, Cliff's notes, he was a, a prospect out of the state of Georgia. He spent the last two years at Vanderbilt. As a freshman in 2022, he played in nine games with six starts. And then in 2023, this past season, he played in six games with six starts. Started every game he played. So in two seasons, 15 games played with 12 starts. He's thrown for 2,700 yards, 22 touchdowns, and nine interceptions. By comparison, Garrett Nussmeyer has played in 17 games, thrown for 1,300 yards, which is 1,400 less than A.J. Swan, eight touchdowns, which is 14 less than A.J. Swan, and six interceptions, three less than Swan. Again, I'm not saying you're bringing in a guy like Swan to take the job from Garrett. But it's clear what, LSU, what LSU's doing. They talked to Taylor Green from Boise State. He picked Arkansas. They talked to MJ Morris from NC State. He picked Maryland. 
Now it's A.J. Swan. They're not whale hunting. They're not trying to find the best quarterback in the portal. They're not trying to find that guy that's going to cost seven figures come in and, and start for you. They're trying to find someone that has experience, that can give you depth, and it's necessitated by, by the portal culture. Because if Walker Howard hadn't left, you wouldn't have that gap in your quarterback depth. You'd have Nussmeyer, Howard, Ricky Collins, and Colin Hurley. You'd have four guys, all different classifications. Great. That would be a great scenario. But that's not the reality. Walker Howard left because quarterbacks leave. So now you have a hole in your quarterback depth. You've got Nussmeyer, hole in your depth, redshirt freshman Ricky Collins, true freshman Colin Hurley coming in. You got to fill that hole. And so you're looking for someone with experience. This would fit the bill. So if you get into a situation where Nuss turns his ankle, Nuss is sick, Nuss takes a, a cheap shot like the one Dallas Turner laid on Jaden Daniels, maybe Nuss just doesn't play well. You're not looking at redshirt freshman Ricky Collins and saying, go get him, kid. Because you know when the last time that happened? What happened in 2020 in the COVID year when you're running out a couple of freshmen. But it happened in 2008 with Jared Lee. Paralu gets kicked off the team. You didn't have a better option. You had Andrew Hatch. He gets concussed, and then you, you'd go to redshirt freshman Jarrett Lee, who wasn't ready to play. Physically very gifted player, very good thrower, but threw it to the wrong team a bunch because he was a young guy, wasn't ready. So you ask yourself, well, what about Ricky Collins? Do you develop? Of course you keep developing Ricky Collins. And maybe you bring in someone like A.J. Swan, and Ricky Collins is better. Awesome. That's a great scenario. At least you know. You plan for the possibility of needing that depth. And if nothing else, you've created great competition at that position. There, there is no good argument against adding a quarterback. I'll continue to say there is not a single good argument against adding a quarterback. And you say, well, what if somebody leaves? So? They could leave anyway. And then you're in a giant, an even bigger pickle. Because now guys have left, and you don't have anybody to back up Garrett Nussmeyer. And I'd also argue if you're going to leave because you don't want to compete, well, that's on you. Do you really want that guy anyway? I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think any of the guys on the roster right now are going to leave. Even if you do add somebody. But there is no reason not to add depth at that position. And it, it went after Taylor Green. It went after MJ Morris. Now it's AJ Swan. Maybe AJ Swan goes somewhere else. Entering his third year, maybe he wants a place where he's going to be guaranteed the starting job. That's not going to happen at LSU. And if that's the case, go somewhere else. And LSU will keep going down its list. But the coaches are telling you. I say it all. Actions speak louder than words. They're telling you. They're telling you what they want. They're not going after a top flight transfer. They're going after quality depth. Experienced depth. AJ Swan has started 12 games at an SEC program. I get it's Vanderbilt and they stink and they haven't had a lot of success. But he has been out there on the field, going through the ringer, preparing as a starter for 12 games. Garrett Nussmeyer has never started a game. Never. Yes, at depth at that position. There is breaking news here. Uh, we, we just about half an hour ago, we're talking about AJ Swan, the uh, Vanderbilt quarterback in the transfer portal. Uh, Shea Dixon, uh, credit Shea, he's the first I saw that had it. Uh, A.J. Swan has committed to LSU. So via the transfer portal, uh, Tigers beat out South Carolina and others. Swan spent two years in Nashville, double-digit starts, as he mentioned. So LSU gets their uh, their transfer quarterback, and it's, uh, it's Vanderbilt, former Vanderbilt quarterback A.J. Swan. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.